my dad had this church, and he was a preacher. I knew that if I was playing piano, that he wouldn't hurt me or my siblings. A pastor's kid is supposed to be perfect. We grew up in a state of fear. He came in and he started to unbuckle his belt. Dad, you're never going to touch me again. No more. I just wanted to get to Nashville to do my music. I went to all the labels, almost immediately signed a publishing deal. But I think there was a hole. She needed that best friend, that lover. He controlled her just like the father did. You have this manipulative, charming man. She said, I've got to complete this. And I said, complete what? She said, the list. If everything wasn't checked off at the end of the day, there would be hell to pay. This is somebody starting to break down someone else. I finally had the courage to ask him, I really think we need to get divorced. And he said, you want to leave me? I'll get custody of the kids. And he terrified me. Oh! He would walk away with everything and leave her with nothing. Four bank accounts, over $20 million in his name only. And he kind of smirked at me and he said, there's nothing left. It's about power to try to destroy his wife. It was the perfect storm that led me to just shut down. I was left voiceless. I was on suicide watch. Music has always healed me. It was the music that helped me keep going when I was dealing with my abusive father and then through my marriage. That's the moment that I really felt that fight come back. This is the fight of my life. I knew I had to help women. I wanted to help them understand that they didn't have to be controlled by anyone. But now